Good afternoon, Lions fans. It's Mark Oldopsky Halpern here on the Sports Insanity Network, brought to you by the dugout of Millwood. The Lions win another one. You know, it's not a hard game to win against the Raiders, but the Lions come back and win another one after a very, very disappointing showing last week where they got obliterated by Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. This week was a little bit better for Jared Goff as he went 26 of 37, 272 yards and a touchdown interception. I have said all along that Goff is going to throw interceptions, but as long as you're winning the game, whatever, they take more chances down the field than most other teams. Sam Laporta coming through in a big way again. However, this was not about him. Josh, G- Jameer Gibbs, the rookie from the t- rookie for this year for Detroit, 26 carries, 152 yards, and a touchdown. But he didn't just do it running the ball, he also did it receiving the ball, five for 37. This kid, I picked up a law in the beginning, the first round, saying he was going to get his time and get his chance. And make sure he gets fitted into this offense. That being said, David Montgomery missed again with a leg hamstring and hip injury. He is still week to week. Um, Amrat St. Brown, another game of 100 yards receptions with six receptions for 108 yards. Sam Laporta, eight for 57 in a touchdown. We I told you, uh, Jameer Gibbs and Jameson Williams had a nice showing. There's not much to say regarding the Las Vegas Raiders as they they really did nothing on the field. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was sacked six times. This Lions defense is very, very strong and, excuse me, pardon me, is very strong and is all over the field. Uh, Pass deflections all over the place. Uh, Garoppolo was spending more time on his back. And Kirby Joseph came up with another interception himself for a 15-yard return. The Lions are clearly running away with the NFC North. However, it's not even halfway through the season yet. And the Minnesota Vikings are pretty much out of the picture, in my opinion, due to the fact that Kirk Cousins now went down with the same injury that Aaron Rodgers did. So we don't expect Cousins back. So what did the Vikings do? They traded for Joshua Dobbs. Not that we're talking about the Vikings. We're just talking about the NFC North in general. The Green Bay Packers are the Green Bay Packers, whatever. No need to talk about them. Who really cares? Um, the division's really going to come down to um, the Lions, and if the Vikings can make a push, maybe I it it's a tough decision. Also, the Bears don't know what the Bears are not going anywhere. Um, we will see in the future. Um, as otherwise, the Lions improve into one of the best records in the NFL at six and two, right up there with the Chiefs, the Dolphins, the Cowboys. You know, it's it's going to be a real, real good battle. I still think we're waiting to see who the Philadelphia Eagles really are. And I'm not saying they're not a good team. They really are. I mean, with the talented wide receivers, the good running game, and let's face it, Jalen Hurts is good. But let's forget about the offense, just the defense. And we'll, I'll be getting into that more you know you'll hear a lot over the weekend during the sunday sideline report but if you go check out the article the dallas cowboys need to clip the eagles wings you can find that on www.thesportandsendingnetwork.com where you get all your vlogs and blogs from the dugout of millwood it's now the sponsor of the sports and sanity network and who is the dugout of millwood it's me ladies and gentlemen mark Halpern in conjunction with Drug Mart of Millwood as our DBA. And then we are back. We are coming back strong. So look for live breaks to be done on here as soon as this week. It's going to be fun. For now, have a nice, fun week and enjoy some football this weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.